Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's Ryan Saplin here. Going to talk to you about some public speaking tips to help improve your public speaking so you get better at talking in front of your class, talking in front of a school, talking in front of the stage. And we are talking about public speaking. And the first, the tip I'm going to talk about today is actually, I have a web page brought up and I can't remember what it was. It was, in fact, research. That's what it was. Research. Do your research. And I know this sounds very obvious and it's probably something you've already done, but let me tell you what. The better you know your material, the better you're going to be able to perform because you're going to have more confidence. And if there's anything specific that you do want to uh, research is you want to research people's, you want to research your audience. Who is your audience? This is kind of like the impact of everything, right? Uh, you have to realize that audience, because if you know your audience well and you know who's going to be in the crowd or in your your uh, room, whoever it may be, you're able to tailor the presentation specifically for them. And this makes all the difference in the world because there are certain jokes, inside jokes, um, terminology, lingo, slang words used in a particular industry or in, in a particular setting that, um, that makes sense for that audience. And that's really important because if you're able to do that, you're able to connect with the audience because ultimately that's what you get the best. When uh, the speakers that you look up to, people who are really good at public speaking, now that I think more about it when I watch TED Talks and whatnot, is that they are able to connect, you know. And as I kind of make these videos, I'm also thinking about my breathing. I shouldn't be thinking about my breathing, but I do know I am holding my breath. And that also takes practice. So I'm doing like these little sprints, doing two and a half, three minute videos, one after the other, and just practicing. And this is, I guess, the biggest part about it is learning how to practice until you can't get it wrong. You know, it's what professionals do. And that's what you do. You keep practicing. Imagine, you know, one of my goals is to be able to do a TED Talk. And it's important to me because it's just something I've always wanted to do. And, you know, for me to get to that stage, I actually have to do something first. Or I have to create something amazing, uh, whether it be a business or something of research. I don't know what it's going to be, but I just know I'm going to do a TED Talk. I see it in my vision. And that's also another thing, too, like just going on another kind of another tangent is that if you are able to see yourself talking in front of that crowd and doing an amazing job, it's going to be much more easier to perform. All right. Hope you like my video. Click like if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And I'll see you guys all in the next video.